Hello my Aries friends, Guiding Halo here. Hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's coming up for you in September. Uh, this could reading could resonate for any of you at any point in time. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. See what messages we have from the Divine and we'll go from there. We have Healing Chaos. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or your financial situation you've built up for yourself over the, your whole lifetime. We have Trust. And we have flexibility. So there's something about having to be flexible, trusting the divine and moving forward. So you're basically trying to heal from circumstances and situations. I believe this is all coming forward to give you an opportunity. Something you didn't see coming, but will be of great benefit for you. Maybe I'll move that over that way so you all can see it better. Whoop, that's hot. Don't get burned. Maybe that's what some of you are thinking of. I don't want to get burned. I don't want to get burned, Halo. Okay, let's find out about this Healing Chaos card. So it's been a tumultuous time, and there could be some healing coming towards that, and it could very well just be understanding about why it all needed to happen in the first place. We have the Six of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a soulmate. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. Receiving a loan or paying off debts. So if you've been waiting for a loan or waiting for something to move forward, you're finally taking that leap of faith. Um, it's taking great trust for you to manage. Uh, I have one, two, three. That's too many. I just need one card. These cards are new and they're incredibly hard to shuffle. I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right. Seven of Pentacles. Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. Unnecessary worry. So that's with the trust card. So it's time to trust the divine. You really need to trust that they know what they're doing. That they've got your back, basically, it comes down to. Uh, one more. And maybe you felt something was over and it's never going to happen. And then all of a sudden, years later, there it comes. Just around again, the opportunity. King of Fire. That's you. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from somebody creative. So this could be anybody really, but there's some advice about a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. I feel, I wonder if you guys are being called to give somebody a gift, a gift of stability, a gift of care, a gift of compassion, perhaps. Tell me about the six of pentacles here. Equal give and take, healing chaos. Maybe someone's been through a rough time, could be you. You're either receiving or giving the gift. You decide what that is in your world. Yes, great happiness. And then I got the Six of Cups, clarity, warmth, joy. That's beautiful. I wonder if there's somebody that you've had in mind for quite some time you'd like to meet. Or perhaps life is going really well for you and it's healing a, a period in time of Yes, I know. That's Freya saying hi. <laughs> Six or seven years that have been just incredibly rough. There's an apology, a new opportunity coming in. This could be from whatever it is. I was going to say that, but yeah, I don't feel I should. Um, whatever it is coming in, it's going to bring you joy and delight. And what beautiful energy is this? Someone could have a new home they're moving towards and been very hard working to get it ready. What is this having to trust the divine during a pause in action? Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. Balance, trying to bring you to a place of balance. Uh, hmm, I wouldn't even say that. No? Okay. Justice. There's a truth that needs to come out here before you move forward in order for you to see the whole picture is what I feel. Yeah, passionate opportunity coming your way. Something you already know how to do. I want to say you don't see this coming because you've been in such a long time of healing chaos and you've had to trust that you just, you're putting one foot in front of the other, doing your thing, and then bam, all of a sudden it's here and you're like, what? Wish granted. Yeah, for sure. That's exactly what's making you feel that way. Happiness, awakening, something coming in that's very fruitful. You know how to do, you're good at it. And all of a sudden a new opportunity ensues. 
tell me about the king of wands and flexibility you're going to really need to be flexible to work with people uh, some of you very well could be my way or the highway. I have my beliefs and that's what I'm standing on. But the divine could be taking you into a new way of thinking and believing. Uh, all up in your head. Sleepless nights, stress, worry and aggravation. There's somebody I feel like at a distance. That may have feelings for someone else. If this is you, then that would be your sleepless nights. But you're worried about how it's all going to pan out. I don't think you need to worry. We've got beautiful energy here. This could be about a new home. It could be about marriage. It could be about all of these things. I feel like someone's been lied to. I don't know who that's for. Or you feel like you've been lied to. Because things aren't happening the way you that, yeah, it was told to. Yeah, You feel like there's manipulation around a house or a mortgage or a... A happiness in some sort of way someone is gonna see the light here if they've not seen the light already and there's a new opportunity coming in tell me about what's gonna clarify this beautiful joy and happiness we've got going on here with the Sun card feeling warmth a new change a healing chaos in your life a new friend coming in and communication that makes you just feel overwhelmed with delight Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody who's very beautiful, coming in to heal a circumstance or situation. You could have had healing to your feminine energy, my Aries friends. Even if you're a, a feminine, a female, you could have easily been operating in masculine energy. Sometimes when we throw our hands up in the air, and say, okay, it's whatever, Let, whatever, I can't even anymore. We, we get in the energy of belief and desire again. And trust, and then the beautiful opportunities come in. Sometimes losing resistance and giving up. And saying, I don't want to do this anymore. And just going about your life is the best way for the divine to work behind the scenes to bring to you what you wanted all along. Yeah. Capricorn energy could be dealing with Capricorn I feel like this is very Saturnian being stuck to something or one thing you might feel stuck but the divine is saying the work that you're putting in is going to be beautiful and it is going to take work it's going to take commitment and should you take this up in trusting me and moving forward this with this then you are going to receive some sort of massive happiness. But the divine is taking you through the paces. Look at where Pisces is in your chart because Pisces is having a Saturn return this year or over the next little while. Saturn has returned to Pisces. So it's really about putting in the work. And I don't know that the, the devil card per se is, is the devil's in the details. I don't feel that way. I feel as though it's something you haven't really been able to let go of. It could be some sort of habit, perhaps, or belief set, or whichever. Be flexible with yourself. The divine loves you, so you need to love you too. I feel like some people just want to walk away from something. Like I said, feeling like you've been manipulated. Fear surrounding money finances, fear surrounding becoming who it is that you want to be, who it is that you desire to be. I just split the deck and I got, well, you can't see that, can you? Great courage and strength to end a battle you've been in. It takes great courage and strength. Sometimes we stay in mental turmoil and battles because in life we, we what? We get comfortable with it, right? It's about taming those inner beasts of fear, stepping up to the front lines of your life, stepping over that line of fear, and becoming active in the front lines of who you want to be. I love you guys. I hope this resonates, and I hope you have a beautiful month. Blessings.